Hello everybody, welcome back to the Token Pants. I am Nancy Pants, and this will be the first or second video in my wedding series. So this video is 10 wedding planning tips from Nancy Pants. Number one, time for planning. Um, my suggestion is to take as, as much time as you possibly can to plan your wedding. You have time to kind of hash out the details, you have time to enjoy the process, and you have time to relax through it and not be no, so stressed out. If you have a shorter amount of time to plan out your wedding, you seem, it seems to get people really, really stressed out. Number two, the right venue. Oh, I can't stress enough that the first thing you should do is find the right venue for you. Make sure that you make a list of what it is that you want for your venue, what it is you don't want for your venue, that way you find the right places. Um, like I said, one of the, like I said before, one of the things that I really liked about our venue was that it was kind of a ways from the city, so there was no houses in the background. Things like that. Number three, the best price from vendors. Um, I find that the best thing you can do is kind of eliminate things that you don't necessarily need for that day. We kind of adjusted our open bar, we adjusted certain things as far as food, and not that we adjusted like quality-wise anything, it was just adjusting certain, certain things that we didn't need for that stuff. So definitely, definitely look into doing that. If you don't need real flowers, because they're so, so expensive, if you don't need real flowers, maybe adjust some things so that you're not using real flowers or maybe limit yourself into how many flowers you're using. I'm not a big flower person, so I didn't. Number quattro, things that are free, labels, etc. Um, if you know of Wedding Paper Divas, they did our what Save the Dates and they did our wedding invitations. They are amazing. They have a website called Wedding Paper Divas Voice. And what it is, it's just a place to kind of voice your opinion, answer polls, um, suggestions on any new products that they might come out with, and every month they do a drawing. If you're lucky to be selected uh, one of those months, you actually get like a credit for their website. It's Wedding Paper Divas or Shutterfly, and it's either $50, $100, or $150. We're not sponsored, just putting it out there. And uh, it's absolutely amazing. Shutterfly, if you also sign up for their emails, they constantly do like free gifts, which include labels, which include um, different kind of like different items that you can get. I've used it a lot for labels for my wedding invitations, for my save the dates. It's an awesome lifesaver. I'll put the, uh, the websites down below so you guys can kind of take advantage of it too. Number five, wedding planner. Do you or do you not? My suggestion, do it. I have a wedding planner. Her name is Brandy. She works with Motif Creations here in Las Vegas. I'll put her website down below as well. I definitely, definitely suggest on getting a wedding planner. By getting a wedding planner, you have somebody who's keeping you on budget. You have somebody who's listening to all your ideas and making them possible without overspending a million dollars, you know? Um, I definitely, 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 definitely suggest getting a wedding planner. That way, the day of your wedding, it's, it's stress-free, you're kind of like um, not worried about anything, you have somebody who's gonna deal with any issues that do come up, which is amazing to be able to just chillax. I mean, myself, I probably won't chillax all day, but I would wanna chillax a little bit. Number six, a wedding website. Oh man, wedding websites are pretty awesome. We do have one through The Knot. There's other places where you can create a free wedding website um, like I said, the not being one of them, Wedding Wire, I know there's more, so I'll put a list down below of which ones you can find. Um, but I myself use the knot. If you're not going with the wedding planner, you can use the knot to kind of plan out each month what you should be doing, what you what you should be doing, what you can do if you want to do it, um, things like that. Suggestions as far as budget goes. If you give them your full budget, they'll kind of break it out um, for everything, which is awesome. Number seven is incorporating a theme. Make sure if you want to have a theme, your theme could be wedding, your theme could be the color blue, doesn't matter. Just make sure that your theme is what you want it to be. You can incorporate your theme in many different ways. Colors, you can incorporate it by uh, your centerpieces, you can incorporate it in anything you want, want it to be. If you have issues with finding out what themes you want, just think about the things that you really, really love. For example, our wedding is definitely, definitely Disney. Um, we both love Disney very, very much. I love the idea of love, and Disney kind of encompasses that in a whole. Number eight 
is do it yourself, DIYs. I love DIYs. I love arts and crafts. Um, one of the things that we did DIY was our centerpieces. By we, I mean me. <laughs> and with our centerpieces, uh, my idea was to have a different Disney movie. My idea. It was an idea on Pinterest, and I just kind of made my own versions of it. <laughs> and I did different, um, different table had different movie themes, and each centerpiece is geared towards that movie. So you can make that, you can make um, backgrounds, you can make pretty much anything that your imagination comes up with. It doesn't have to be perfect. I feel like DIY kind of encompasses your passion and your love for what you're doing, and it, it shows people that. So I love DIYs. Thing number nine, I think number nine. Ceremony ways to make it unique. Just remember that this is your wedding. If you're getting married, if you're not getting married, the future will be your wedding. And um, you can make your ceremony pretty much anything you want it to be. You can, if you don't want to do a sand ceremony, don't do a sand ceremony. If you don't want to do a candle one, don't do a candle one. Do what it is that you really want to do. We got, um, we have our ceremony is going to be unique to us. We do have one of our friends officiating the wedding. Oh, thank you, Matt. And uh, you did see him in one of the previous videos. And um, we are doing uh, something really specific to myself and Chris. I'm not going to say what it is because I want to keep it secret until after our wedding. After our wedding, I'll do like a review of our wedding day and tell you the kind of things that we did, show you the centerpieces, all that stuff. And the final one is number DS, bridal party involvement. Oh my gosh. If someone wants to help from your bridal party, let them help. Um, don't feel that you, as a bride, you have to take it all on yourself. You really, really don't. If somebody wants to help you, if somebody has ideas, if somebody, whatever it is, let them help. It's gonna be, it's a good way to bond with your bridesmaids. It's a good way to get them involved so that they don't feel alienated from you. It's a good way to um, get them excited for it too. So definitely accept accept help when it's offered or ask for help oh my gosh ask for help all the time do it and i can guarantee hopefully i don't know anyone but um hopefully they will love to help you out and uh kind of take care of like wedding invitations if you need to like mark anything or save the dates if you need to put them together um things like that always accept help so those were those those were Nancy Pants' 10 wedding tips. They might not be perfect, but if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know um, down below. If you guys have any questions about my uh, personal wedding experience, let me know, and I will be happy to answer your questions. We do take suggestions all the time, so please put it down in the comments below. Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe our ch to our channel, and click that little bell. That will let you know of any videos that are going up from the Token Pants channel. We are, like I said in the previous video, we are a, a fairly new channel, but we're hopefully going to get more videos up and going. So, like I said, I don't know what I just did there. But hopefully you guys like this, and uh, if you want to know more, let me know. Alright guys, thank you so much. Bye!